Hello! So I thought I'd do my um, introduction video so I could tell you a bit about myself and um, who I am and why I do this YouTube channel. So my name is Jill. I'm in my now late 30s and um, I've got three-year-old twin boys and I live in rural Bedfordshire with them and my husband and my rather neurotic cat. I am known as Jam Jar Jill and I have been blogging under that name for around 10 years now and everything I'm trying to promote and do through my brand which I'm trying to build um, jamjarjill.com um, is just all about wellness and eco living and holistic health and just trying to go with a more natural approach to life um, and I think that can help as an anecdote to all the crazy madness which is going on in the world at the moment um, is just to try and get back to a more basic way of doing things um, you know a more natural way of doing things and um, just to seek community with others who feel that way and who want to try and connect with people who are doing a similar thing. So that's really my goal. As my journey has progressed in the blogging world, um, I have been finding my niche this year. Um, and my niche, which I'm pretty proud of, um, is eco and wellness. And what I love about this is, first and foremost, the community of people who there are, um, who I've connected with, who are all trying to do their bit to save the environment, save the world, um, do their bit to try and live their lives in an eco way, in a um, way where they really think about conscious consumerism, because that is something which is very, very dear to my heart. Um, I realise that at the moment there is a lot of a blame game going on with um, whose fault it is of why we're not green enough with our products and unfortunately I think there's a lot of onus on well it's the consumer's fault they're just being naive or they're not um, following um, or thinking about where their stuff is from but I don't think it is entirely the consumer's fault at all in fact I think Unfortunately, it is a lot of the time big organisations who should know better, but they're just they don't care enough and they're um, just trying to make money. I do think that things are starting to change with that, but um, all these things sort of came together for me after watching the War on Plastic um, documentary, which was done by Hugh Fernie Whittleson on um, the BBC. And um, prior to watching that programme, I was naive myself as well and kind of saw it as, um, oh, well, I'm doing my bit because I separate out all my rubbish and I put plastic in the recycling. And so I thought that was good. Um, unfortunately, what this programme highlighted is what generally happens to the plastic that we put in our plastic recycling, even if our councils are telling us that it can um, be recycled. Often it gets shipped abroad um, to countries who then don't track what happens to it, and it ends up getting dumped in rainforests in the middle of Indonesia somewhere, um, which then isn't monitored and it isn't actually recycled often it's burnt um which is really really sad um so i think that was really key for me when i learned that and it's kind of made me think well actually i really want to think about both what happens to stuff before it gets into my hands in the first place i.e how it's made where it's made what it's made from and also then what happens to it at the end of its life and think about where I can, where finances allow, making more eco decisions day to day. Um, and so, I'm um, sorry, my cat, hang on. I've got a pickle. He wants to come and say hello and say so he's jumping up. This is Akita. I'm just now trying to make those decisions myself 
where I can, where finances allow to be greener in my decision making and I want to encourage others to do the same but um, equally so the other side of the coin is um, they also met with someone on the programme who was one of the contractors dealing with the rubbish and the waste which comes to them um, from all the various different councils and what he was saying was fundamentally nothing's going to change until the big corporates um, have actual responsibility for for the stuff that they produce i.e shampoo bottles you know commercial bottles and stuff like that and um, actually have financial responsibility for what happens to them at the end of their life whereas at the moment all of that is on the um on the councils to pay for that so the big corporates who are making these products in the first place they don't have any incentive to make the right decisions on how these products are being made other than their own morals really um so i kind of feel like the very big changes which need to happen need to come from the top need to come from legislation come from the government and then filter down and um, mean that um, you know we're fighting this problem from all angles we're fighting it from um, the consumer side but we're also fighting it from the big corporate side as well and the government side because everyone needs to get on board with this um, because really plastic is bad news <laughs> and um, the world would be far better without it um, but at the moment there isn't enough choice in the market in a cost effective way for everyone to sort of um, try and reduce their plastic down to you know the plastic free July or whatever um, concept um, because everything costs more if you go green at the moment and um, so I guess that's my mission statement that's what I want to do um, is try and contribute to making green affordable to all and green the norm and part and parcel with all that is the wellness piece and um and basically trying to be more natural um in what i put on my skin or what i put on my children's skin um what i put on my hair and everything like that but also um you know mental health awareness and different therapies and yoga and meditation etc um, and therapy and community and all the holistic sides of health and well-being and seeing the body as a whole and thinking about how you know you might have things like I've suffered with insomnia on and off since the boys um, PTSD postnatal depression everything like that um, and just how we tackle this as a society and how, you know, we need to go back to more of a community aspect and more of a um, really living in a community and supporting each other and loving each other and everything like that. So that's the kind of um, the place where I want the world to go to and I will do everything I can um, to try and make that happen through my own brand, my own blog, um, through um, product testing for people who also have a similar belief system and um, trying um, to make people think about what they're buying and how they're buying it and why they're buying it and how they're dealing with the own challenges in their lives and um, just trying to have a more natural approach to to life's challenges where you can and to not just jump towards the western medicine approach which is often to put a band-aid on it to coin a metaphor um rather than actually digging a bit deeper and finding the holistic approach which might give you more long-term benefits just help you to be more natural and to have you know really look after the body that you have and treat your body like a temple and all those things um so that kind of explains a little bit about what i'm about 
and hopefully um, gives you a bit insight into what this channel is about as well. Um, so um, this channel is going to be a combination of testing eco products, testing wellness products, hopefully interviewing some people who um, believe the kind of things which I want to promote um, and also a few check-in videos where um, that's kind of how I began with this channel actually was um, just sort of checking in how I was feeling during lockdown and reaching out and seeking community on that um, and then obviously I love to feature my kids so doing cooking with them teaching them about more natural things teaching them about nature as well so um, yeah that's basically the cat <laughs> now that's basically what I'm trying to do um, with this channel and I look forward to connecting with you and becoming part of the YouTube community who are trying to do that and just trying to make the world a better place really. If you want to connect with me you can find me on all the channels on um, Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest, all under at Jam Jill, Jill. Um, also on Twitter as well. Um, so please do drop me a line if you want to work with me um, I'd love to meet you and love to hear how you would like to collaborate um, and I look forward to meeting you and I hope you enjoy this channel okay take care bye bye